Hey everybody, it's Richard Aramal with Diag and today we're having a look at a Golf and we have a ABS traction control light on and we're going to see what's wrong with it. Right, so as I said we've got traction control ABS lights coming on whenever it's driven so we're going to take a look at it. So I'm going to use FagCam Pro. I should probably be screen recording this, shouldn't I? Make it look nice and pretty for you. Right, so I picked up the module. ESP Mark 6. Trouble codes. So I created this one just a minute ago. So I've already started looking at it. And all these other ones were in there apart from this right rear. So we can ignore that one. I was just doing some testing. So, left rear ABS sensor, uh, says mechanical fault or mechanical error, um, and left rear incorrect signal, it's saying lamp off, but when you drive it down the road it comes back on. Tire pressure monitoring now, that is using the ABS wheel speed um, to work out whether the tires have gone flat, and low voltage, not too worried about that, it starts, that could have been in there forever, and they are intermittent codes anyway. So what we're going to do is come out of here and we come to our measuring blocks I don't know which one it's going to be in we start that, oh look at that first set right up in there so what we're going to do is I'm going to have a spin of a couple of these wheels and we'll see if we get some wheel speeds and if we don't then we'll move on to uh, checking for sensor problems right okay so we've got the wheel speeds up here so I'm going to do the driver's rear and we've got some wheel speed on that you want to do the other side we've got no wheel speed there can you do the front right. yeah so there's the near side front and the other front one side front so we're just missing this um, near side rear so we'll get on and do some testing with that right so what I've done is I've got Pico set up and we're back probed in here we got the uh, earth lead in the brown wire which is pin 2 and the black wire is our signal and if you can spot it every now and again on this good side we'll see that little bloop there now if I spin it, if it'll focus, that becomes more often when I'm spinning the wheel. Right, so what I'm going to do to make it easier, I've got channel 2, we've got an AC coupled, and I've put it down to 1 volt. Swap this over, excuse me 2 seconds. Right, so now we're on that, Let's focus again, now we spin it, we can see that signal a lot better, and if we want to, we can zoom in, so this is a known good working side, there's our signal. Right, now what we're going to do is we'll get it set up on the other side, and we'll make a comparison to this exactly the same and we'll see if we've uh, got anything going on at all right okay so we're set up on the other side as you can see we've got voltage there just under 12 volts we are connected just the same pin 2 is the ground pin 1 is the signal now the first thing you can notice is we're not seeing that little signal appearing say I know it's not AC coupled but spin that and we have nothing again swap it over so we're on AC now it's a bit of feedback there we spin the wheel and we have nothing so this is dead but there is voltage going down there we must have a ground path as well or a turn path because we're probed into the sensor as well so that has to be there or else we wouldn't see any voltage 
so next thing I'm going to do just to try and prove this out is I'm going to loop the wiring from this side into the sensor over this side and we'll see if we can change it on the live data just to be 100% and then this car needs a sensor right so we've got this known working good sensor on this uh, driver's side so what I've done is I've got some jumper wires from pin 1 and 2 here I've gone into the wiring of pin 1 and 2 on this side <coughs> so this wiring is going directly to this good sensor over here because these sensors are handed so you can't just swap them over and sometimes they snap which is never cool so now if we spin this wheel we should see live data say that there's uh, there's wheel speed and then we can be pretty well 100% that uh, this is uh, all good the only other possibility is potentially a, a bearing fault but uh, I don't think that's going to be the case if I just come up here if I sort of get you on the screen if I can pro there if I spin the wheel see we've got wheel speed change there so I'm happy that that can pick up wheel speed so what we're going to do is we're going to get a sensor put in this and uh, hopefully that'll be the end of it so thanks for watching guys and come along for the next one